Okay, I am setting up my screen. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream lesson. Yeah. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is A-OK. -okay. That means, well, if you can see me and hear me, that means I can start because everything is OK. Sleepwalker says yes. All right, thank you. Lolly says yes. Thank you, thank you. Radu is in the house. Saima says yes, thank you. Ella says yes, thank you. All right, yes. Funda says yes, thank you. Tetsuro says yes, thank you. Leah says yes, thank you. Asha says yes, thank you. Helga, happy new year. Happy new, happy new year, everyone. And um, I'm very, very happy to be here with you today. Yes, I am, for sure, for sure. Tomas, hello, Tomas. Yes, yes, yes. All right, well, I'm very happy to see everyone. And we, I was on break for a few days or, yeah, a few, um, basically the end of the year until now. And so um, I'm re-energized. I've, I've recharged my batteries. I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good too. And um, before we do anything, let's have our toast as usual. Yes, we always have a toast for good luck. So let's do that. Let's have our toast for good luck. Yeah, let's bring in the year with a toast. Yeah, okay. So whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our toast. And we will have two toasts. And our first toast will be to the green team. Yes, of course, the green team, the supporters. They support me and the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give a big thank you to the green team. Cheers, green team. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah. Now, for our second toast. Yes, it's for you. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, <laughs> cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah, okay, good, good, good. Well, like I said, Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I hope you had um, a nice time. I hope you brought in the New Year with your friends and family. And um, I wish everyone a Happy New Year. I wish everyone that, um, of course, peace and love with your family, safety and prosperity and good luck. <laughs> yeah, let's make, let's make 2022 the best yet. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. All right, well, um, let me see who's here today. Ava's here, hello Ava, Mwah. Ava's here. Tetsuro's here, hello Tetsuro, good. Lolly's here, hello Lolly. Did I see, I thought I saw, um, oh, there's Sleepwalker, yes, yes, yes. I thought I saw Fabricio. And I thought I saw Tomas. Okay, Radu, I see you. Mary Poppins, I see you. Mitra, I see you. Samuel, I see you. Helga. So we have our usual suspects. That's great, fantastic. Yep. Okay, good, 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 good. Well, um, let's talk about today's lesson. Let's talk about today's class. Hello, Galan. How you doing, Galan? Happy New Year, yes, Sozia. Okay, good. Dana, hello. Good, good, good. Shams, hello. Great, great. Well, here's today's lesson plan. And of course, we're doing five activities. Yes, we are. We're going to do form a sentence. We will do listen and explain. I will um, show you some pictures and I will explain what those pictures are, and you tell me what it is. Then 
um, answer the question. I'm going to give you some questions and you give me the answer. We're going to do dictation cards and, of course, Lolly's Revenge. We are doing five activities. We will be here for two hours, so I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are ready to practice your English with me. And, of course, with the chat, yeah, lots of great things happen in the chat. We learn by examples, and you will see many, many example sentences. So um, we all are going to learn a lot from each other, right? That's that's um, why we are here. We're here to learn from each other, right? Okay, good. <clears throat> well, um, let's get right into it, shall we? Yeah, let's get started because we're always racing against the clock. We're always running behind. So let's get going. And our first activity is form a sentence. Form a sentence. So let's do that. So this is our first activity. So I'm going to, I'm going to put one to keep everything on track here. Hold on a sec. I, I need to do adjust a little bit. Okay. So our first activity, number one, form a sentence. Okay, and today we have, let me see how many cards we have. <clears throat> we have four cards, four cards. So, spaces for four. Yeah, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Four spaces for four cards. And, of course, the cards are not going to stay on the board by themselves. No, they need help. They need a magnet to keep them attached. So over there I have magnets. So I'm going to run over here real quick, get one, get two, get three, get four magnets. Here they are right there. You can see them in my hand. Here's one magnet. Here is two. Here is three. And here is four. Four magnets. Yes. All right. Four magnets for four cards. Yes. Can you say that? Four magnets for four cards. Four magnets for four cards. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Our first card. And on each card, there is a picture that represents part of the pattern. So let's see if you can um, tell, if you can guess what the, what the, the word or words in the pattern from the picture. Okay, so here's our first card, first picture. And what could this represent, this picture? What could this picture represent? Let's see, make it clear, I guess. Yes, Lolly, four magnets for four cards. You did it. <laughs> okay, good, yeah, shall. Or will. Please. Ava says please. Good. Sleepwalker says please. Those are great guesses. Oh, come in. Come in, says Lolly. Oh, Julia says welcome. Or you are welcome. I'm sorry. Julia says you are welcome. Thank you. And then re the reply is you're welcome. Yep. Umesh says please. Mary says go. Go, go, go. Afghan food says, please come in. Samuel, please come in. Tetro says, please. Okay, so actually it is, shall we? Shall we? Kicking someone out of the house. No, Radu. <laughs> no, shall we? Let's do it together, right? So, shall we is, is more formal for um, let's, right? So, um, shall we? Let's do it together. So that's more formal. Shall we? Okay. So that's our first part of our pattern. Shall we? I'm going to write it here. Shall we? So this is more formal. Shall we? Okay. Here's our second card. We're making our pattern. And you've seen this one before. Um, offer or... Suggestion, yep, yep, you can, it's an offer. Well, I think, um, Lolly, it's more of a suggestion, right? So, shall we? What do you think? So, 
Um, of course, when we, we, there's more than one person. So you're not by yourself, Lolly. You're with another person or with a group. And so um, I guess, yeah, you're offering or you're making a suggestion, like um, together, shall we mm -mm, together, right? So it's something that, it's a, a suggestion that we, everyone does together. Okay. Now you've seen this picture before. Yeah, so we, we've seen this. So th the girl, what, what happened? Yeah, good light, say get. So, oh, so she got a present, right? So get, she got a present, get. So let's, let's, um, so get, we use get in many different situations. So, in, so for example, in this situation, in this picture, she got a present or um, we're using get in the past got, right? So she got a present. However, uh, if we're saying, if we're using um, get in the present, we could say, oh, let's get her a present. Oh, let's get her a present. Shall we get her a present, right? So get, so, so get is used in many different situations. So you will see soon how we're gonna use get in this pattern. So shall we get, shall we get? Okay, so that's our second part. Now here's part three. Okay, and this is a, a, a difficult picture to, uh, okay, let's, let's just see how, what you think about this. What do you think of this picture? What do you think this could represent Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna tell you, because I know, like a light bulb, we, we think of like, oh, an idea. Like, oh, I have an idea, bing, you know, like the light goes off on your, on your, above the head. Like in a cartoon, if you're watching a cartoon or a comic book, and the person goes, oh, I have an idea, boop, right? So, um, however, a thing, <laughs> okay, it's a thing. So let's get, and then a thing. Or we could say a noun, okay? I don't wanna, a noun is a person, place, or thing, but we're not using, we're not using people, we're not using places, we're gonna use things, okay? So let's get an, a noun, but it's a, let's use noun as a thing, okay? Let's, let's not use, uh, the noun as a person. Let's not use it as a as a place. Let's use it as a thing. Okay. So shall we get and then a thing. Okay. And then we have our last one. Here is the last card, and you know what this is. What is this? What is this? This is a, uh, Helga, what's it called? Yes, that's right, Lolly. it's a question mark. So, shall is a question, right? Shall is a question, so we need a question mark. So, the last part is question mark, okay? So, for example, okay, let's say I love coffee, and I think... I enjoy having coffee with people. I also enjoy having coffee by myself, but it's it's especially um, I I especially enjoy having coffee with someone else. So maybe I'll suggest, shall we get coffee? And so we can talk. Yeah, shall we get coffee? Okay, shall we get coffee? So that's my sentence. <clears throat> what about your sentence? I want to see your sentence. So in the chat, please write your sentences. Uh, Helga says, shall we get a tasty New Year pizza for Radu? I think that's a good idea, Helga. I think we shall. <laughs> I think that's, we should. Yeah, we should do that. Yep, Dia. Shall we get coffee? 
we want a question mark, okay? Samuel says, um, shall we get something to drink? Good, good, Samuel. <laughs> so, um, shall we get Radu a pineapple pizza? <laughs> okay, Lolly, shall we get a beer at the bar? Shall we get a beer at the bar? Or how about, you know, your, this is invitation, so shall we um, get a beer? Okay, so I think we don't need bar. I think, shall we get a beer? Okay, so we're making a suggestion. Shall we get a beer? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's go get a beer. So shall we get a beer? Okay. So I think that's, that's in, so go is already implied. Okay, so Lolly said, um, like, to a bar, or shall we get a beer at a bar? Like, but get this is already implying that we're going to go, okay? So you don't have to use um, a direction. You don't have to use go. You don't have to use to, okay? Because it's already implied that we're moving there. We're going to do it. Okay, love line. Shall we get a cookie? Yeah, how about, how about a chocolate chip cookie? <laughs> okay. Um, Shall we get pasta? Good idea. Mary says, shall we get some ice cream for our party? That is a good idea. Okay, Simon says, uh, shall we get pizza? Yes, that's a good idea. Shams, shall we get, okay, shall we, okay, get to the park. Okay, Shams, shall we, shall we, okay, we, okay, shall we, that would be, shall we go to the park? You can do that. Okay, we don't have, we can change, we, we don't have to use um, get, I guess. We can say go, we can say, um, shall we go, shall we play, shall we, so you can change the verbs here, that's okay. You can change. So let's see, shall we go to the park? Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. I went to the park yesterday, I went yesterday. All right, <clears throat> Sleepwalker says, shall we get a lot of champagne? No, I don't like champagne, that's a bad idea. Afghan food, shall we get something to drink? Good idea. Helga, shall we get tickets? for the new show. I think that's a good idea. Why? Coffee but a beer. Okay, Roman has a, a interesting question. So, Roma, Roman says, why a beer? Why coffee? Shall we get coffee? Shall we get beer? You can use it. it okay, hmm. it doesn't matter. You, we can say, shall we get a coffee? We can say, shall we get a beer, I mean, we can say, shall we get beer? Um, let's see, the, 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 um, the, what's the word I want to say? Not intention, but the, the feeling, I guess, like, okay, let's get coffee. I think we just use it more often. I, th I think it's just, there's no real, there, you could use it either way. For both of these, you can use ah uh or no ah, uh, but just used more often. I think we say, shall we get coffee more often? And I think we say, oh, let's get a beer. I think it's just used more often, and I'm not sure exactly why. It's just, just how people use these two words, right? And um, that's all I, I can say is it just, it seems that we use um, coffee without uh, more often and we use like, oh, let's get a beer. So that's kind of a friendly um, way, perhaps because it's alcohol. And so you're, oh, let's get a lot of beer. We don't say that. 
but um, maybe we start with one beer and then we have another beer, and another beer. I'm not sure exactly, exactly, but I think that's how these are used um, the most. Ava says, "Shall we get a new car?" <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't need a new car. <laughs> Sleepwalker, shall we get goodies for the children? Okay. Fabricio, how are you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Fabricio, keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the steering wheel. Keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the steering wheel. There's a song, right, Fabricio? What song is that? Keep your eyes on the road. There, there's, oh, the doors. There's a song, The Doors. <laughs> you like The Doors? I like The Doors a lot, Fabricio. And is it L.A. Woman? The song L.A. Woman, yeah. L.A. Woman, keep your eyes. Yep, yep, so that song, L.A. Woman, and uh, maybe you know Fabricio. Okay, um, let's see. Radu, shall we get some whiskey? No, thank you. Lolly, shall we get some... Smoked salmon for the party tonight. Good idea. I love smoked salmon. Okay, Afghan says, shall we get a little relax? I'm not sure, Afghan food. Let's see, Galen, shall we get some soup? It's cold today. Good idea. How about some hot tomato soup? That sounds good. Tetsuo likes high balls. <laughs> I don't, I think... Tetsuo, I'll just have a beer, thank you. There's Kori. Hello, Kori. Mwah. Umesh, shall we get Bitcoins? Oh, biscuits. <laughs> I looked at, Umesh, I looked at your, um, <laughs> at, at your sentence, and for, for a minute, it looked like Bitcoins. Shall we get some Bitcoins? <laughs> okay, shall we get biscuits? That's a good idea. Oh, Ava, shall we get, okay, lunch, we, we don't use a lunch. We use lunch with, as uncountable, okay? So let's get lunch. Okay, Radu, shall we get some avocados? Yes, I think we should. Okay, good. Shall we get a delicious pizza? Sounds good to me. Fabrizio, yeah, keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. Yeah, 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 that's it, Roadhouse Blues. Okay, Fabricio, that is my advice to you. I knew you would know that. So Fabricio is driving, so I told Fabricio, please keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. <laughs> and I knew, hey, that's a song. And <laughs> anyways, okay, good, 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 good. Oh, okay, Afghan food, shall we get something relax? Is that relax, Afghan? Shall we get some relic? Uh, okay, I'm not sure, Afghan, what that R-E-L-I-X is. So um, please use your dictionary, Afghan. Use your dictionary. And um, please write your sentence again. Shall we get lunch? Perfect, Ava. Okay, good. Let's um, go ahead and um, I'm looking at the clock. Let's change activities, shall we? <laughs> Let's change activities, shall we? Okay, so, okay, good, Afghan. Yeah, check out, use the um, dictionary and please write your sentence again. Okay, shall we get a new house? I don't know. I don't know about that. They're very expensive. Okay, let's go to activity number two. <clears throat> Here we go, activity number two. And, oh, okay, listen and explain. Okay, listen and explain. Listen and explain. Okay, so I'm going to show you some pictures, yeah? I'll show you some pictures for maybe 10 seconds, and then I'm going to describe what they are. And from the description, please tell me what it is, okay? So you have to listen. I'm going to describe these things to you, okay? And remember, let's keep um, 
in let's keep them let's keep them numbered okay so number one is number two is that way we can keep things in order so let's see so for example one what is one what is two what is three what is four okay so I'm going to explain I'm going to describe these um, things to you and you tell me what they are but first I'm going to show you a picture of them for 10 seconds so right now you're gonna the um, pictures are going to pop up on the screen right there okay so I'm gonna count down here we go and you will see them in five here we go five four three two one and there they are okay ten seconds okay that's ten seconds now I'm gonna take it off okay now you saw what you saw the pictures and now I'm going to explain okay and then um, you tell me what it is okay so number one okay so number one mm, this is usually white they are usually white um, this they're in uh, there there are many of them they are very thin we use we use them to draw a picture right so if you want to draw a picture you need to use well, you draw the picture on this material. The material is made of wood. And from the wood, actually wood pulp. So, so you take wood and you smash it up and you could um, make this out of the wood pulp. It's usually white on, and artists use it to draw pictures on. Children use it. Any, anybody can use it to draw pictures and to write letters. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. And so there are many of them and um, they are connected to each other, but easy to take off, easy to take off. Okay, good, pad of paper, yes, that's what it is. A pad of paper, good, good, good. So my first, number one was a pad of paper, good. A pad of paper. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Okay, here we go, our second one. I'm gonna write the date because we did it. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see, okay. This, it is substance. It, it's a thick substance. It's not, it's not water, right? It's a thick substance. And it comes in a tube. And they are in different colors. Yeah, they come in different colors. And we use this substance to, um, to paint a picture. And... Um, it's kind of gooey and it could be messy and artists need this to paint pictures they come in different colors it's a substance it's a gooey substance it, it, it's thick it's not watery it is thick yep okay paint yeah okay good job it's paint it's paint Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Number three. Number three. Okay, number three. Um, this is a very difficult thing to do. These people train many for they train for many years to be able to do it. Yeah. And it's it's like gymnastics. They swing in the air, they do flips. They do somersaults, they swing back and forth, they fly in the air, yeah. And a lot of times they will perform in a, in a circus, 
um, usually they um, are from at a very high distance yeah so they are high in the air and they swing and they jump they do flips and it's very scary to watch them do it but it's amazing to see them do it <laughs> yes a tra trapeze artist trapeze artist yes good 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 a trapeze artist Good, good, good. Trapeze artist. Good, good, good. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number four. Okay. Tra trapeze artist. Trapeze artist. Okay. <clears throat> for our number four, this is a thin, thin piece of wood, and an artist uses it and they hold it in their hand and um, different colors of paint are put on it so then artists can mix the colors to make a new color so so it's wood very thin and they put they put maybe the primary colors right primary colors that would be green what are the primary colors green blue you tell me, everyone, <laughs> I can't think of all the, we, we have green, blue, um, yellow. Are those the, 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 the primary colors? So from the primary colors, you can mix them and make new colors, right? So a artist will put the primary colors on it. Then the artist can mix those colors together to make a new color. And they you. Okay, yeah, so red is a primary color. Red, green, blue, and yellow. Not black. Black is not a primary color. Black is not a color. Okay, so yeah, so it's a palette. Very good, a palette. Yeah, so a palette is uh, the wood, the, the, the wood, um, what what it, it it's like a tray a little tray for the artist red yellow blue primary colors thank you tomas okay so a palette okay let's go f let's do 5 okay yeah so so a palette. Okay. So, okay, let's do another one. Okay, this is used to make a movie. Yes, film is put inside it and it lets light inside to, um, so you put film inside this and it has a lens and, and so um, it can this thing can see um, what people are doing <laughs> and um, it records actions right and so it's, it's big and so they use it to make a movie and it inside there's film and the film captures what is what the camera is seeing by the lens and so um, people can act and then we can we could watch it later to see what they were doing <laughs> yeah it's hard to it's hard to explain what these things how they work yeah so um, film is inside it the film records what the the lens sees, yeah? So the lens is like the eye, and if you make a movie, um, you need this to record the action, and then once the action has been recorded, you can, you can look back and see what they were doing. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a movie camera. Good, good. You got it. A movie camera. Ah. 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 Okay, good. Movie camera. Okay, I'm good. Okay, that's good. We did five. We're going to do um, little by little. Okay, so there we go. There are the five. I'm going to show you the pictures again. Okay, so this is what we did today. We, okay, we had pad of paper. That was the first. And so paper is made from wood pulp, wood pulp. So if you, if you take a tree and you smash it up and then put water with it and then you can make it like, um, kind of looks like oatmeal or something, right? Like, or porridge or something like that. And so then you take glue and with glue and the wood pulp, you can make paper. And so an artist can draw, or anyone, not an artist, anyone can draw a picture on a piece of paper. And this is a pad of paper, meaning they, the paper are the papers are connected, yeah. But it, you can take each each sheet of paper away easily, yeah. And so they they have a ring, a binder, and you could just um, take out the piece of paper, um, and then do an, and then you have a fresh paper. So. So here's your pad of paper, you draw a picture, and then you could take it off, and you have a fresh new piece of paper. You could draw another picture, take it off, and you have a new fresh piece of paper. And so we say pad of paper. So there might be, you know, let's say 500 sheets of paper. So that would be a pad of paper. Okay, and then paint, that was our second. One, and here's a tube, and paint is a substance, and it's a gooey substance, and they come in different colors, so we can use that to paint beautiful pictures, very colorful pictures for our enjoyment, yeah. All right, and then we did a trapeze artist, and so they are very skillful at what they do. They have great balance. They, they are very strong. They can fly in the air. They can, do, they can do tricks in the air. They can flip in the air. They can control their body very easily. They, they have great control of their body. They have great balance. They have great strength. And so I admire trapeze artists. Okay, and then a palette. And this is a, a, a wood, it's made of wood. And here the artist can put different colors here. And so then they could um, mix the colors to make new colors for their, for their pictures. And a movie camera, yeah. And so here's, this is the film. Here, let me blow it up a little bit. Okay, so right here we got this is a film canister, and so the film is in here. And then here's the lens, and so the, the lens is recording what is happening in front of the camera. And so here the film goes through this, and so it's being exposed to the action, what's happening through the lens, and it comes out here. And then we can watch back, and we can see what was done before. Okay, so that is that. And so we were talking about art. We were talking about, so these are all, these all have things to do with art. Yeah, so we have art for painting. We have art for drawing. We have art for um, music. We have film art. We have um, I don't know, human art, right? Like physical activity art. We have sculpturing art. So lots of different art here. Okay, good, good. All right, so that was 
that was um, listen and well, you listened. I and I explained to you what it was, and um, you guessed what it was. So, okay, good job, everyone. Let's change activities. Okay. Ah, let's see, Tom, a spiral exercise book. Yeah, like the, the paper, right? Or maybe, Tomas, we'd say um, a sketchbook. Usually, like a sketchbook has a, a spiral bound, and so um, you can make sketches, drawings on it. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, let's go to number three, shall we? Number three. Where's my paper? Ah, here it is. Okay. Ah. Here's my paper with, okay, our next activity will be answer the question, okay? So number three is answer the question. So I'll just put three here. Okay, answer the question. Okay, and we'll do a couple. Here's one, so please answer the question. Oh, okay, Mary. Easel. Easel. N easel. No problem. Happy to do that for you, Mary. N easel. So Mary asked me to pronounce an easel for her, and so I'm happy to do that. Okay. Answer the question, please. Here we go. Number one. Where are you taking the bus to? Where are you taking the bus to? Where are you taking the bus to? That's my question for you. Where are you taking the bus to? Where are you taking the bus to? Okay, so Lolly, from the bus stop, where are you going? <laughs> so, where are you taking the bus to, right? So here you're gonna, you're gonna get on the bus from this point. So from this point, where are you going by bus? Where are you going by bus? All right, Tomas says, to the center of the city, sleepwalker. I take the bus at the bus stop. Okay, where are you taking the bus to? Helga, I am taking the bus to the beach. Oh, nice. Mitra says, to downtown. Julia says, I'm taking the bus to the circus to watch the trapeze artist. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Mary says, I'm taking the bus to the mall. Ava, I am taking the bus I'm taking the bus in front of my house. Where are you taking it to, Ava? So where are you taking the bus to? So from the bus stop, where are you going? Hey, Marcos, how are you doing? Marcos is here. Okay, Tomas is taking the bus to the bus station. <laughs> Marcos, I'm taking the bus to downtown. Lolly, I am taking the bus to downtown. Shams, okay, from the bus stop, where are you going? Fabrice, I'm taking the bus to the moon. That is a space bus. <laughs> Isn't there um, space trucking? Is that, you know, that it, space trucking is deep purple, right, Fabricio? Deep purple, space trucking. <laughs> Ava, to my work. Okay, Ava's. Taking the bus to work. All right. Lolly says, I take the bus to work. Oh, to the pub. That's good, Tomas. So Tomas is taking the bus to the pub because it's dangerous to drink and drive. So Tomas can have some beer at the pub and not worry because he's just going to come home by bus. So that's safe. That is responsible, Tomas. Tom responsible drinking. 
Okay, Tetsuro, I'm taking a bus to the countryside. So Tetsuro, we say the countryside. Sweet Lana, I'm taking the bus to my mother's house. Lolly, I take the bus to the market. Sleepwalker, I'm taking the bus to the park. Mitra, I am taking the bus to the mall. Henna, I am taking the bus to the stadium. Umesh, I am taking the bus to a restaurant. Saima, I'm taking the bus to work. Ava, I am taking the bus to the next bus. <laughs> okay, so transfer, yeah, so sometimes we have to change buses, right? Because the, the bus in front or the bus close to your home is not the bus that will take you to your final destination, no. So you have to transfer buses, right? So you take um, the A bus, and get off at a certain place and then from that place you connect to bus B and then bus B will take you to downtown for example so um, we say transfer so I'm gonna transfer to bus A so I'm taking bus A and will transfer to bus B I'm taking bus A and will transfer to bus B Eva, I am taking the bus to the cinema. Tetsuro, I'm taking the bus to the nearest station. Lolly, I take the bus to go to the concert. Okay, Lolly, how about I'm taking the bus to the concert? So, so for example, okay, I take the bus, that means you do it every day, right? So I take the bus to work. So that means you do it every day, right? Let me write this down. So, so for example, I take the bus to, okay? So that means you do it every day. So I take the bus to school. I take the bus to work. I take the bus to um, the gym, right? So this is something that repeats. However, if today you're doing something today, maybe it's Saturday or you, let's say for example, like Tomas is going to the pub, right? And so Tomas doesn't want to drink and drive because it's dangerous and the police will get him and he has to pay a lot of money. It's a big fine. So he says, oh, I'm taking the bus to the pub. And so that's just like today. I'm taking the bus to the pub, right? So it's not every day. It's like what he's doing right now. Oh, where are you going, Tomas? Oh, I'm taking the bus to the pub. Okay. Okay, I take the bus from my house to work. Yep, that works, right? Maybe every day, that's good, that's good, Lolly. I take the bus to visit my parents downtown. Okay, that, now, so that could be um, something you do every week, right? So that's fine, Lolly. So, so when you say, I take the bus, that means it, you, it's a, a pattern. You do it often. Okay, Fabrizio said, it sounds like a word. Okay, it sounds like I would be Hulk, a strong man able to catch the bus with his hands when I use the verb take. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take the bus. So remember Fabrizio, um, get, we use get in many different situations and take is the same thing. So um, it, it's almost an idiom, right? So we, we use take in many different situations so it almost becomes like an idiom, right? Same with get. We use get for many different situations. So, so it's not a normal verb where like read, right? We, we, read, we use our eyes to read a book. We use our eyes to read a newspaper. We use our eyes to read a magazine. So, so read's always going to be consistent. But get, take, 
Those are used in many different situations. It's like an idiom. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Oh, okay, Lolly says, I usually take the bus to the supermarket. That's a nice sentence, Lolly. That's very, very clear and um, natural, and we can understand you very well. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, here we go. Here, we're going to do one more. Oh, okay, Ava says, just now I am taking the bus to work. Okay, Ava, just now you, you want to say, I am taking the bus to work because you're doing it right now. So now it's progression, right? So just now I am taking the bus to work. Okay, good, Fabricio. Okay, here we go. Our question number two. And I want you to answer this question. When, okay, let's, let's, let's use a different one. Okay, how about this card? What's wrong? <laughs> oh no, what's wrong? What is wrong? What's wrong? Ava, just now I am taking the bus to work. Perfect, Ava, perfect. What is wrong? What's wrong? Oh no. What's wrong? Oh no. What is wrong? What's wrong? My question to you, what's wrong? Yeah, Tomas. Oh, Sleepwalker, the alarm didn't work. I'm late. Oh, no. Run. You're going to miss the bus. <laughs> Sleepwalker, hurry up or you will miss the bus. Hurry up or you will miss your bus. Helga, I have a headache. Oh, no, Helga. I hope you feel better. Helga, you should drink some water and... and um, and let, lie down. Lie, have some water and lie down. Oh no, Tetsuro lost his wallet. I lost my wallet. Oh no. Tomas, my leg is broken. That's terrible. Lolly, someone has broken his leg. That is terrible. Who would do such a thing? Who would do such a thing? Mitra. I hurt my hand doing exercises. Oh no, be careful, Mitra. Tomas, I need an ambulance. Oh no, ambulance, ah! I hope you can get one very quickly. Rosie, good morning. Yep, it's morning. It's almost 6 a.m. For, for Brazil. Early morning in Brazil. T uh, Marcos, I had a tour, uh, a torsion in my ankle, so I have to see a doctor. A, A, hold on, Marcos. Contusion? Uh, okay, you know what, Marcos, we usually say, um, I have a sprain. I sprained my ankle. Torsion is... Like, torsion is, is more like used for a part or something, torsion. So give it more, so, so we use it like, it's like a tool or something, Marcos. We don't use it for, to, for um, it's not a word we say with our body. So um, your ankle, we usually say, I twisted my ankle. How, that's better, Marcos. I, I twisted my ankle. I have to see a doctor. So you should say, I twisted my ankle. Okay. Julia, I was running to the bus stop and fell down. Oh no, Julia. Okay, Asha, I have I have a sore throat. We don't need gut. I have got a sore throat. It's better. I I have a sore throat. I have a sore throat. Love line, I have a bad connection. Oh no, bad, a bad um, 
your internet isn't working very well. That's too bad. Oh, I slept in the meeting. Oh, don't do that. Okay, Ava, I broke my head. <laughs> oh, no, you broke your head. Ava, we don't say that. <laughs> we say, um, like, you, you, we don't say broke your head. Usually you, like, you, um, you have a concussion. You, you banged your head. How about that? I banged my head. Like, you know, you, you hit, oh, what happened? I banged my head. I banged my head. B-A-N-G. E D, I banged my head. My husband fell down. That's terrible, Ava. Tetra, I missed the last train. That's terrible. Oh no, who fell down? I didn't see who fell down. Oh, Fonda, that's terrible. Fonda fell down. Oh, Lolly, I don't feel very well. I'm dizzy. Oh, sit down. Hurry up. Have a seat, Lolly. Samuel, I cut my finger. Oh, that must have hurt. Sleepwalker, I saw thieves in the house. Opposite. I saw, I saw thieves in the opposite house. Yeah, sprained my ankle. Good. Or you could say twisted, Marcos. Tomas, my wine bottle is empty. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> okay, good. Ah, uh, Hannah, I have a bad, I have a backache. That's terrible. Lolly says, I hit my foot against the wall. Oh, I hate that. Marcos, I hurt my finger. I hit my finger with a hammer, so I have to see a doctor. Okay, oh, I hate when that happens, Marcos. So we say, I hit my finger with a hammer. I hit my finger with a hammer. Sleepwalker, I was running to the bath and forgot about it. Now the water, oh, I was running a bath. Okay, so sleepwalker, I was running a bath. That means putting water in, in the bath. I was running a bath or I was running the bath. Okay, that's fine. I was running the bath and forgot about it. Now the water is on the floor. Oh, it's overflowing. Now the bath is overflowing. The bath is overflowing. Fabricio, the alarm didn't work today. The dog keeps barking, and I put a sock of each color on my feet. I'm going crazy. I'm late. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I put, I put a sock of... I have different colored socks. I put on... Okay, Fabricio, I put on different colored socks. I put on different colored socks. I put on different colored socks. Well, I have an easy solution, Fabrizio. Just have one color. Make all your socks one color. <laughs> then you won't have that problem. Okay, Fabrizio, make all your socks one color and you will never have that problem again. <laughs> problem solved. Oh, Lolly, no. Lolly fell from a ladder. Oh, no. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Ava likes those different colors. Ava likes those different colors. Okay, let's change activities. It's six o'clock. Good job, everyone. Nice answers. Yes. Great answers, everyone. Great answers. Okay, here we go. I think we're now number four, right? So that's three. Well, number four is dictation cards, right? That's right. Okay. So let's do dictation cards. So that means you need, you need a pencil and paper. Pencil and paper. Pencil and paper. Good, Fabricio. I put on different colored socks. So actually you want um, colored ED. I put on different colored socks. But that's, but that's okay. I put on different color socks. That's okay, Fabricio. That's okay. All right. Let's do dictation cards, all right? Shall we? <laughs> okay, and we got, let's, let's go, yeah, let's go. No, I wanna, no, I'm gonna go here. <laughs> I'm all confused. Okay, 
Dictation cards. This would be number four. Dictation. And our topic today is how. How. Okay, and we're going to use, and you could use how for, for um, different situations, right? So, for example, um, in what way, so, so how means in what way it means by what means Um, ask about someone's condition. And ask about the quality of something. Okay, can you see that? Okay, it might be hard to see. But I'm going to take a picture. I always take a picture of the whiteboards and upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So you can always check out the whiteboards. And maybe it's too small for you right now, but if you go to my Facebook group page and you will see the, the whiteboard, and there you can make it larger and you can um, see um, better, right? So. It might be kind of small for you right now. Now, in what, okay, so how, in what way? So that means, um, so how you do something, right? So what is the path you're going to take? How, you know, what, what is the directions, right? So, so how are you going to do that? So for example, how do you make cookies? Well, you can, you can follow the recipe, right? It tells you, you know, how much sugar. It tells you how much milk. It tells you how much butter. It tells you how many eggs. So in what way? So in what way do you make cookies, right? And so how you make cookies. Um, by what means? Like, what are you going to use to make cookies, right? So if we use in what way? That would be directions, how to follow, you know, how much uh, sugar, how much flour, how much butter, right? By what means? That would be maybe you would get, uh, uh, how do you mix, mix it? Oh, use a mixer. How, um, how hot do you make the oven, right? And so, like tools, right? So. If, if you figure, okay, in what way, let's think of like directions. Um, by what means, what tools, okay? Then ask about someone's condition, like, oh, how are you today, right? How are you feeling today? Um, ask about the quality of something. So um, how strong is it? Um, how, how much is it, right? How old is it? So, so the, the, the quality, how, how, how good is it, right? Is it cheap? Is it expensive? Is it well made or is it cheaply made? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And we have, of course, we have eight cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight cards and we're going to do four steps. Step one, of course, dictation. Step two, shadow. Step three is uh, meaning, or on your own, on your own. And four is a quiz. Okay, so those are the four steps that we're going to do for dictation. And... Um, What's happened? Is there? Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, there's there's spam. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, 
Okay, thank you. I just I just now saw the the chat and Tomas says it it's spam. So I'm going to um, let's see put the hide the user from the channel. So I'm sorry about that, everyone. So. Is that the right person? Okay, okay, so, yeah, I don't like spammers. Bad, bad spammers are no good. Okay, okay, so we need, you need a pencil and paper. Ah, uh, Lolly, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. You're using how? Very, very good, Lolly. That's perfect, Lolly. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, well, let's do it, shall we? So step one is dictation. So you need a pencil and paper, and you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Okay, so, ah, oh, there's another one right there. Jeez, why do people do that? We got another spammer. Don't do that, please. We're all here to learn. We're all here to, we're here, we're serious people here. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Step one, dictation, please listen and write. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Card number one. How can we open the safe? Alan, hello. Nilla. Oh, are they, oh, thanks you, thank you, Sleepwalker. Oh, yeah, like strange. Those are like strange numbers and stuff. I didn't know what it was. Oh, stupid bots. I hope they can solve that bot problem in the future. Okay, second time. I'm gonna read each sentence three times. Here we go. Second time. How can we open the safe? And the third time. How can we open the safe? Okay, card number two, number two, here we go. How is your ankle feeling? Oh, Mitra. I always do that, don't I? Okay, after after this dictation, we'll go to the, um, the poll. Huh, Mitra, you're always reminding me. Thank you. I'm always forgetting, and you are always reminding me. How is your ankle feeling? How is your ankle feeling? Okay, here we go. Number three, number three. How do we stop the thieves? How do we stop the thieves? How do we stop the thieves? Number four. How long has your eye hurt? How long has your eye hurt? How long has your eye hurt? Number five, how long have you had this meat? How long have you had this meat? How long have you had this meat? Number six. How do I serve this tea? 
How do I serve this tea? How do I serve this tea? Okay, number seven. Number seven. How old is this mummy? How old is this mummy? How old is this mummy? Okay, here we go. Last card, number eight. Number eight. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? How do you get to work? <laughs> okay, that was the dictation. Good, good, good. So let's check it off. It's done. It's completed. You did it. Now it's time to shadow. That is speaking practice. Step one was dictation, listening and writing. Now step two is shadowing, which is listening and speaking. Input, output, input, output. Shadowing is when you're speaking at the same time as I am. You are not repeating after me. You are speaking at the same time as I am. You're using two skills at the same time. Listening and speaking skills. Yes, listening and speaking at the same time. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. Okay, here we go. Time to shadow. This is speaking practice for you. Five, four, three, two, one. How can we open the safe? How can we open the safe? How can we open the safe? All right, Asnik Kuk asked, how long have you been an uh, English teacher in Japan? 25 years, for 25 years. <laughs> uh oh, we got another bot. Jeez, bots, don't bother us. No more bots. Okay, here we go. All right, how can we open the safe? All right, so this is um, by what means? Okay, how can we open the safe? So by what means? So what, what, what will be the tools? How do we do it, right? By what means? Do we use, do we use dynamite? <laughs> do we use a, a drill? Like, by what means? How can we open the safe? Okay, number two, here we go. How is your ankle feeling? 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 So asking about someone's condition, right? So this person hurt their ankle, and so you're asking them, oh, how is it feeling? How is your ankle feeling? How is your ankle feeling? Okay, number three. How do we stop the thieves? 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 All right, by what means? What tools do we use to stop the thieves? Maybe a gun will stop the thieves. <laughs> I don't know. How do we stop the thieves? <laughs> oh, Tomas. Okay, number four. Number four. How long has your eye hurt? 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 So you're asking about someone's condition, right? So maybe the doctor will ask, oh, how long has your eye hurt? Oh, it's been hurting for a week or since yesterday. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, number five. How long have you had this meat? 
How long have you had this meat? How long have you had this meat? How long have you had this meat? So you're asking about the quality of something, right? So maybe the quality of this meat is very bad. <laughs> it's too old. There's flies. It's turning green. It's turning green. How long have you had this meat? You should throw it out. The quality is very poor. <laughs> it's terrible quality. You can get food poisoning. Don't eat it. Number six. How do I serve this tea? 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 So in what way? Do I serve it hot? Do I serve it cold, right? In what way? <laughs> That's right. It went off. So we can do, we can do the, the smell test. Whoa, that's bad. So a lot of times I do the smell test, right? So maybe if you had, if you had a food for a long time and you're not sure if it's, if it's all right to eat, you can do the smell test. So how does it smell? Okay, it smells normal, so maybe it's okay to eat. If, if it smells funny, it smells rotten, it smells terrible, it smells, it, it, it smells really bad. <laughs> Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Okay, here we go. Here's the next one. How old is this mummy? How old is this mummy? How old is this mummy? mummy. All right, so how old is this mummy? The, so the quality of something. So, so mummies are, were done very well, right? So very skillfully. So in, in Egypt, right? So um, they mummify kings and pharaohs and, 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 and princesses and princes and so um, the quality very good of these mummies do you know how old the oldest mummy is do you do you know how old mummies are okay fabricio has a question fabricio says please pronounce m-e-e-t nice to meet you and m-e-a-t i like eating meat <laughs> Same pronunciation, okay, Fabricio, same pronunciation. Nice to meet you. Oh, are we having meat for dinner? Are we having meat for dinner? Nice to meet you. Same pronunciation, same pronunciation. Hello, English ka virus. Okay, how old is this mummy? I think the mummy is about 4,000 years old. I think this mummy is about 4,000 years old. Please pronounce, Lolly asked me, please pronounce uncle and ankle. Oh, this is my uncle Tim. Nice to meet you, uncle Tim. <laughs> oh, how is your ankle, Lolly? I, I, I heard you hurt your ankle while you were skiing. Did you hurt your ankle when you were skiing? Hello, Lolly. This is my Uncle Tim. How is your ankle? This is my uncle. How is your ankle? This is my uncle. How is your ankle? Okay, here we go. Number eight. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? How do you get to work? To work. All right, Fabricio, hold on a minute here. Okay, how do you get to work? So, in what way? So, what is your course? How do you get to work? What streets do you take? Which roads do you take? How do you get to work? In what way? Fabricio asked me to pronounce mummy and mommy. 
This mummy is 4,000 years old. Mommy, may, mommy, give me something to, right, how, like I'm a baby. So mommy is something babies say, like, mommy, I want my blanket. Mommy, I want my blanket. This mummy is 4,000 years old. Mommy, get my blanket. Mommy, get my blanket. Mommy, get my blanket. This mummy is 4,000 years old. This mummy is 4,000 years old. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that was shadowing. You did it. Let's check it off. Okay, on your own. Now, we're going to, our third part, yes, part three, we're going to take turns saying the sentences. Step one and two, we did it together. Step three, we're going to take turns. So I will say the sentence, then you say the sentence, okay? However, when it's your turn, I'm going to cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence by only looking at the picture. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. Oh, uh, English, you just, um, English virus, you just shadow. That's how you practice speaking with me, is by shadowing, yeah. So here, some more speaking practice for you, okay? English virus, so this is very important for you. So don't be shy, say this, say this to your computer. <laughs> okay, here we go, I'll go first. Then when it's your turn, I'm going to cover the sentence, okay? So when it's my turn, please listen. And then when it's your turn, please speak. Okay, here we go. How can we open the safe? Now it's your turn. Please say the sentence. How can we open the safe? How can we open the safe? How is your ankle feeling? How is your ankle feeling? How is your ankle feeling? How do we stop the thieves? How do we stop the thieves? How do we stop the thieves? How long has your eye hurt? How long has your eye hurt? How long has your eye hurt? How long have you had this meat? How long have you had this meat? How long have you had this meat? How do I serve this tea? How do I serve this tea? How do I serve this tea? How old is this mummy? How old is this mummy? How old is this mummy? How do you get to work? How do you get to work? How do you get to work? Okay, that was on your own. Okay, good, good, good. Now it's time to have our quiz.
So I'm going to shuffle the cards so we don't know the order of the cards. And I'm going to take the first three cards from the top. I'm going to show you the picture and you're going to write the sentence in the chat. All right. So just look at the picture and write the chat and write the sentence in the chat. Okay, here we go. Okay, stop shuffling, Mark. <laughs> All right, please write the sentence in the chat. Here we go. Write the sentence in the chat. Please write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember? the sentence. Do you remember the sentence? This is card one. Number one. Card number one. We're doing three. This is one of three. One of three. Okay, Helga's on the board. Helga says, how do I serve this tea? Fabricio says, how do I serve this tea? Lolly says, how do I serve this tea? Omar says, how have you served this tea? Samuel says, how do I serve this tea? Sleepwalker says, how do I serve this tea? Okay, Uganda, Uganda says, how do I serve this tea? Tomas says, how do I serve this tea? Tetsuro, Eva, Mary, okay, no problem. How do I serve this tea? I recommend it hot. I, re I recommend that you serve it hot. That's my recommendation. Okay, here we go. Number two. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Oh, no. Don't eat it. <laughs> How could I serve this tea? Tomas, that's a different meaning. So like, how could I do this? Like, like, okay, for your sentence would be better for this, Tomas. Like you would say, how could I serve this meat, right? Because it's bad. If you serve it to people, they will get sick, right? And so if you said, how could I serve this meat? That means... You, you can't do it, right? Because you know you will hurt people. So, or you, you could say, oh, how could someone serve this meat? Or how could this restaurant serve that meat? How could this restaurant serve that meat? Like, that's terrible that they did it, right? We, we know that the restaurant knew the meat was bad. How could they do it, right? That's, that is shameful. That is terrible. That is against restaurant, you know, what, I, what, I, what do I want to say? That's against restaurant etiquette or, you know, restaurants have responsibilities, right? They, if you have a restaurant, you have a responsibility to serve healthy, or not healthy food, but um, fresh food or, you know, food that won't make people sick, right? That's the responsibility of a restaurant. Okay, so, and the sentence is, how long have you had this meat? Very good, everybody. How long have you had this meat? Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Number three. Oh, there's another bot. Jeez. Jeez, no more bots, please. No more bots. Okay, here we go. Number three, last one. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence?
Okay, Helga is right there. How old is this mummy? Sleepwalker says, how old is this mummy? Lolly says, how old is this mummy? Uganda says, how old is this mummy? Sweet Lana says, how long, how old is this mummy? Fabricio, how old is this mummy? Tetsuro, how old is this mummy? Omar, Eva, Asha. Mary Poppins. Oh, she's scared. Mary Poppins is scared of mummies. Don't be scared of mummies. <laughs> it's, it's history, right? It, it's, they are historic. They're, they're history, right? It's history. Mummies are history. <laughs> okay, here we go. You got it. How old is this mummy? Very good. All right. Yeah. How is mummy's ankle feeling? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, you did it. Yeah, that was the quiz. Four steps to your success. You did it. Very good. And we talked about how, for in what way, how for by what means, <clears throat> how to ask about someone's condition, how to talk about the quality of something, yes. Okay, good job, everyone. Let's change topics. Yeah, number five. You know what number five is, don't you? Number five. That's number four. Now we're going to put number five right here. And you know what number five is, don't you? You know. You know what five is, don't you? Number five is Lolly's Revenge. And we're going to do the conversation. We are going to do questions and answers. We're going to read. And we are going to shadow. Yes. Four steps again for your success. Yes. Four steps for your success. And it is Lolly's Revenge. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me get let me get the paper. Let me get the paper. It's right here. It's I have the conversation written down right here on this piece of paper. And there are two people, yes, two people in the conversation, and they are Joe and Sue. Yes. This is Joe. When, when Joe is speaking, you will see my thumb. When Sue is speaking, you will see my pinky. Yes, yeah, so this is for Joe and this is for Sue. And um, so let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Let's do it, do it. Here we go. Joe is speaking right now. Joe says, Sue, how do I get these out of the can? Be careful. Don't make a mess. I can't figure this out. Please help. Okay, let's look at the directions. It doesn't say how to open it. Let me see. There is an arrow pointing down. If I open it at the bottom, they're going to spill out. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Good idea. Why did you buy wieners in a can? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Again, yeah? Okay, here we go. One more. This is Joe and this is Sue. And Joe is speaking. Sue, how do I get these out of the can? Be careful. Don't make a mess. I can't figure this out. Please help. Okay, let's look at the directions. It doesn't say how to open it. Let me see. 
there is an arrow pointing down. If I open it at the bottom, they're going to spill out. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Good idea. Why did you buy wieners in a can? <laughs> okay. Ah, Ava, I guess, yeah, it's a little longer. So Ava says, oh, today's story is longer. It's a little, yeah, yeah, it's a little longer. Yeah, not much longer, not much longer. Don't look up. <laughs> Sleepwalker says, don't look up. Okay, what do you want to do? What shall we do? Okay, Sleepwalker says, OMT, which means one more time. Okay, sounds good. Helga, you are correct. Thank you. Thank you, Helga. Okay, English virus, we're doing this right now. We're doing this right now. Tetsuro says, one more time. Oh, a movie's name. Don't look up. I don't, what movie is that? I don't know. I don't know that movie. Okay, Lolly says, one more time. Sleepwalker, is it a, a new movie? Hi, Tis. Hello. Okay, here we go. One more time. Joe is first. Oh, it's a new one, Sleepwalker. Who is in the movie? <laughs> Who is in the movie? Okay, here we go. One more time. You got it, Fabricio. Here we go. Sue, how do I get these out of the can? Oh, really? I'll have to check it out, Sleepwalker. Thanks. I need some water. Okay, sorry. Had to get my throat lubricated. Yeah, how to get my throat. Had it, it was getting dry. Okay, here we go. Joe's first. Sue, how do I get out of... No, 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 no. One more time. I'm sorry. I missed my mistake. Here we go. Count down. Last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Sue, how do I get these out of the can? Be careful. Don't make a mess. I can't figure this out. Please help. Okay. Let's look at the directions. It doesn't say how to open it. Let me see. There is an arrow pointing down. If I open it at the bottom, they're going to spill out. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Good idea. Why did you buy wieners in a can? Tomas, Samantha the Mummy. I don't know who Samantha the Mummy is. Okay. Let's do questions, yeah? Okay, so that was the conversation. Let's check it off. All right, so now it's time for questions and answers, yeah? So I'm going to ask you questions, and you tell me the answer. That's right, Lolly. Thank you. So figure out means to understand, to solve. Good one. Good. Thank you, Lolly, for that. Thank you. Okay, question number one. Question number one. Here we go. Countdown to question number one. Five, four, three. Oh, last time. Okay, Lolly. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, no problem. Lolly wants it one more time. You got it. Okay, here we go. I will go slow and last time. Here we go. 
Sue, how do I get these out of the can? Be careful. Don't make a mess. I can't figure out, or I can't figure this out. I can't figure this out. Please help. Okay, let's look at the directions. It doesn't say how to open it. Let me see. There is an arrow pointing down. If I open it at the bottom, they are going to spill out. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Good idea. Why did you buy wieners in a can? <laughs> okay. Okay, sweet Lana, no problem. Okay, so sweet Lana says I, I, she didn't understand all of it, but don't worry because we're going to um, read it, right? So right now I'm going to ask you questions. Then we will read it together. You will see the sentence and we could talk about the meaning, okay? So if you don't understand right now, that's okay because we are going to read it and we will shout out. We're going to talk about it more, so don't worry. Don't worry. Tomas, open it with an axe. So Tomas, just put it and just ah, crush it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, here is here are the questions. Here are the questions. Question number one. What is Joe trying to do? <laughs> Good. That's right, Lolly. <laughs> Number one, what is Joe trying to do? Question number one, what is Joe trying to do? What is Joe trying to do? <laughs> Mary says, that's a good idea, Tomas. Uganda says, open the can, open the can. Sleepwalker says, he is trying to get these out of the can. What are these, Sleepwalker? So what, what are these? Ava, she's trying to open the can. She's not Ava, he is. Yeah, so what is Joe trying to do? So he, Joe is... So he is trying to open the can. Helga, Joe is trying to open the can. Loveline to open the can. Julia, he is trying to open the can. Ella, Joe is trying to open a can. Lolly, he is trying to open a can of wieners. Mary says, Joe is trying to open the can. English, uh, okay. Um, English virus, not, I can't, I, I don't have free time, sorry. Tetsuro, he is trying to get wieners out of the can. Samuel, he is doing, he is doing to, uh, Samuel, one more time, Samuel, I don't understand. Okay, um, Asenath, try to open the cans. Fabrizio, he's trying to open... A can of wieners. He is trying to open a can of wieners. Tomas says, maybe it is not good. Maybe it is not a good idea, but it is a, 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 a quick solution. Yeah. So Tomas says he should use an axe. So maybe it's not a good idea, but it's a, a quick solution. Quick solution, Tomas. A quick solution. Sweet Lana, I will work it out after the live stream. Okay, we'll work it out now. You'll get it, Sweet Lana. Don't worry. Marco says, uh, Joe is trying to open the can. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, that, you guys are correct. That is correct. Uh, okay, number two. No, I do not know Hindi. <laughs> no, sorry. Number two. What does Sue... What does Sue not want Joe to do? Number two, question number two. 
What does Sue not want Joe to do? Ha <laughs> ha, Helga. Very clever. Who will be the winner? The wieners or Joe? So Helga, who will be the winner? The wieners or Joe? That's very clever, Helga. Okay, question number two. What does Sue not want Joe to do? Okay, love lines on the board. She doesn't want him to make a mess. No, Uganda, no. Lolly, she doesn't want Joe to make a mess. She doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Tetsuro, she wants him not to make a mess. Good, Helga. Sue doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Sue doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Ava, to make a mess. Do a mess. To make a mess. Ava, to make a mess. Sleepwalker, she doesn't want him to make a mess. Julia, she doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Tomas, she didn't want Joe to make a mess. Ella, she doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Mary, Sue doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Marcos, she doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Mitra, she doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Samuel, Sue says, be careful and don't make a mess. Be careful and don't make a mess. Good, Samuel. Fabricio, she doesn't want Joe to make a mess again. <laughs> Helga, Sue doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Lolly, she doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Good, good, good. Asneth, she doesn't want Joe to make a mess. She doesn't want Joe to make a mess. Make a mess, yeah. Don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. Okay, good. Number three, here we go. Question number three. What is Sue's suggestion? What is Sue's suggestion? Number three. What is Sue's suggestion? Question number three. What is Sue's suggestion? Sarah, hello, Sarah. Mwah. What is Sue's suggestion? Okay, Helga. Sue's suggestion is to look at the directions. Lolly, put a bowl under the can. Sleepwalker, she suggested look at the directions. Ava, look at the directions. Mary, Sue suggests to look at the directions. Asha, what is Sue's suggestion? <laughs> What is Sue's suggestion? Marcos, she suggests they should look at the directions. Fabricio, Sue suggested he look at the directions. Sue, okay, Fabricio. Tetsuro, she suggests that he look at the directions. Good, Tetsuro. You are very welcome, Alamelo. Alamelu. <laughs> Alamelu. Fabricio Sue suggested he look at the directions. Look at the directions. Or you could say read the directions. So Sue, Sue suggested to Joe to read the directions. 
You should read the directions. <laughs> Roman, Sue should be divorcing Joe. <laughs> uh, good one, Roman. Samuel, she suggested to look at the directions. Asneth, she, she suggested to look at the directions. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Number four. Question number four, last question. There are four questions. This is question number four. Why did Joe buy wieners in a can? <laughs> why, why did Joe buy wieners in a can? <laughs> number four. Oh, Helga says, Roman is too cruel to Joe. <laughs> number four. Why did Joe buy wieners in a can? Why did Joe buy wieners in a can? <laughs> Why did Joe buy wieners in a can? Ah, Sleepwalker says, Joe likes tricky situations. Is that why he bought the wieners in a can? Sleepwalker, is that why? Helga says, he thought it was the best. Okay, solution for what, Helga? What, what is the solution? So the question is, why did Joe buy wieners in a can? Why did he buy those? Why, why did Joe buy wieners in a can? So Tetsuro says because... Oh, okay, so because he is a, a, a bit funny. Okay, Tetsuro. So he thought it would be like um, funny to buy wieners in a can. Okay. Like, oh, wieners in a can. Oh, I should buy these. Okay, pretty funny. Lolly, because wieners in the can can be conserved much longer. Ah, okay. So Lolly says, um, wieners in a can be, you know, kept, can be kept much longer than wieners in a, uh, like in a bag, right? So Lolly says, because wieners can be kept longer in a can than in a bag. So wieners can be kept longer in a can then in a bag. That's a good, that's, that's good, Lolly. Oh, it was his plan. <laughs> or like maybe his plan to get Sue angry. <laughs> so maybe Joe said, if I buy these wieners in a can, and then maybe Sue will be angry. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe he wanted to, to get Sue riled up. He wanted Sue to get a little like riled up yeah let's see Fabrizio says because it's more practical and he was certainly in a hurry when he went to the market ah okay so Joe went to the market oh, hey wieners in a can that's that's practical that that's a good idea so that's why he bought it says Fabrizio Ah, Tomas says, Joe didn't want to buy a fresh one. So Joe didn't, ah, I don't know when I'm going to eat these. So I'll just get the wieners in the can, and it doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter when I eat them, right? So maybe if you buy wieners in a bag, you have to eat them in a week, or you have to eat them in two weeks. But in a can, you can eat them next year. So, so that's what Tomas says. Ah, Uganda, what are wieners? They are like hot dogs. They're, they're sausages. They're, so they have other names, right? So wieners, hot dogs, sausages. They're, they're like, they're round strips of meat. <laughs> round Round strips of meat, 
wieners. They kind of look like like this. Maybe like like this. Wieners, and maybe people eat these with um, with beer, right? If you go to um, you go to like a, a a pub, they might have like wieners. You eat those with with beer. Um, in America, we, we say hot dogs and we barbecue them and we use them with a bun. We eat them with a bun. So it's a bread right here. This is bread. And then you put like mustard on it. You put onions on it. They're pretty good. I like them with mustard and onions. Yeah, and then so a hot dog, eat it like this. Ah, Lolly, very, very interesting. Lolly says, because Joe doesn't like cooking wieners, and wieners in a can are ready to eat. <laughs> Good one, Lolly. Um, Samuel says, because it might be cheaper. Ah, wieners in a can are cheaper. Yeah, mustard. Yeah, Mary, wiener equals sausage. That's right. Yes, yeah, so I like mine with mustard and onions. So I like my, my hot dogs with mustard and onions. <clears throat> Tetsuro, because he loves wieners, but there were only wieners in a can at the grocery store. Ah, interesting. Tetsuro said that Joe wanted wieners, but they only had wieners in a can. So he had no choice. There was no like... Should I buy them in a bag or should I buy them in a can? No choice. Interesting. You know what? Me too, Sleepwalker. <laughs> Me too. So Sleepwalker says, I have never tried wieners in a can. Same as me, Sleepwalker. I've seen them, but I've never bought them before. So I've never... I've. I, I, I only buy wieners in a bag. <laughs> That's right, Tomas. Okay. Helga, he had no bag and put the can into his pocket. Ah, very interesting. So Sleepwalker saying, wieners in a can. He could just put them in his pocket, right? where he didn't have a bag, and so, you know, a shopping bag. He didn't have a shopping bag, so he thought, okay, I don't have a shopping bag, so I'll just buy a, a can of wieners, and that'll be much easier to take home. It, very interesting. That was good. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tetsuro, so maybe a few of us have never tried wieners in a can. I've seen them, but I've never tried them. Ella, we have bought a can of wieners during traveling. Ah, oh, Ella did. How were they? So, okay, very, okay. Ella, good point. So, so while traveling, so maybe you, you buy a can of wieners and you can just eat them out of the can and easy to eat. So if you're traveling, if you're like on the bus or on a train and you could eat them easily. Ah, very good, Ella. Very interesting. Good, good, good. You're welcome, Ava. Mwah. Okay, that was question and answer. So let's do our second, or let's go part number three. Yeah, part three. Reading. All right, so I'm going to show you the conversation. So let's read it together. Okay, here we go. Let's read the conversation together. Okay, Ava's at work. Work hard, Ava. Mwah. Make lots of money. <laughs> Ava, make lots of money. Work hard and make a lot of money. Here we go. Let's read it together. Okay, here we go. Okay, hold on. Let me... I got to get things situated here. Okay, here we go. Okay, Joe says, Sue, how do I get these out of the can? Be careful. Don't make a mess. 
I can't figure out. I can't figure this out. Please help. Okay, let's look at the directions. It doesn't say how to open it. Let me see. There is an arrow pointing down. If I open it at the bottom, they are going to spill out. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Good idea. Why did you buy wieners in a can? Let's do it again. Okay, Sue, so how do I get these out of the can? Be careful, don't make a mess. I can't figure this out. Please help. Okay, let's look at the directions. It doesn't say how to open it. Let me see. There's an arrow pointing down. If I open it at the bottom, they are going to spill out. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Good idea. Why did you buy wieners in a can? <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. All right, so that was the reading. We read it together. So let's check it off. Okay, now it's time to shadow. So let's say the sentence, or let's say the conversation together, okay? Let's say the conversation. Here we go, shadowing time. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Sue, how do I get these out of the can? How do I get these out of the can? How do I get these out of the can? Be careful. Don't make a mess. Be careful. Don't make a mess. Be careful. Don't make a mess. I can't figure this out. I can't figure this out. I can't figure this out. Please help. Please help. Please help. Okay, let's look at the directions. Okay, let's look at the directions. Okay, let's look at the directions. It doesn't say how to open it. It doesn't say how to open it. It doesn't say how to open it. Let me see. There's an arrow pointing down. Let me see. There's an arrow pointing down. Let me see. There's an arrow pointing down. If I open it at the bottom, they're going to spill out. If I open it at the bottom, they're going to spill out. If I open it at the bottom, they're going to spill out. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Why did you buy wieners in a can? Why did you buy wieners in a can? Why did you buy wieners in a can? <laughs> okay, let's look one more time. Here we go. Let's look at it one more time. Here we go. Sue, how do I get these out of the can? Be careful. Don't make a mess. I can't figure this out. Please help. Okay, let's look at the directions. It doesn't say how to open it. Let me see. There's an arrow pointing down. If I open it at the bottom, they're going to spill out. Put a bowl under it so they'll drop into the bowl. Good idea. Why did you buy wieners in a can? <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, 
Let's check it off. That was shadowing. Okay, good job, everyone. And look at the clock. It's been two hours. Yes, it is seven o'clock here in Japan, 7 p.m. So thank you so much. Yes, we did it. You did it. We did these five steps. And oh, I need to take a picture of the whiteboard. Yeah. So、um, let me get my camera. Sorry. Let me get my phone. So, I always do this. I always take a picture of the whiteboard and I upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So that way you could check it out anytime you want. And maybe some of these are a little small for you to see right now. But if you go to my Facebook group page, you'll see the picture and you could blow it up and you can see each word easier. All right. So, let me take a picture of the whiteboard. I'm gonna step over. You can't see me, but you can hear me. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture and I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you can check it out anytime you want to. And thank you, Marcos. And I have a quick announcement. Tomorrow, January 5th, I will be back here at 5 p.m. the same time for a worksheet. Okay, so I will be doing a live stream tomorrow. Okay, Wednesday, January 5th, 5 p.m. Japan time. We're going to do a worksheet. Okay, so this month, February, March, I have,、um, well, case by case, day by day. Okay, so for this month, January, I have. My schedule is、um, basically will be open where I have, I have classes、um, Thursday and then I have classes next week. But then、um, after that, I'm on、uh, winter break from, from my university. But so I'm going to have some more live stream classes, but they're kind of going to be kind of here and there, here and there. I will still be, so as always, Tuesday. Friday, Saturday, of course, those three days. But I might be able to do some other live streams on the other days. So, for example, tomorrow, Wednesday, 5 p.m., I will be here. So, if you have time, please come back and see me tomorrow for a worksheet. We'll do a worksheet together. All right. So,、um, please come back tomorrow if you can. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate your kind support. The green team, yes, the supporters, yes, you see their names in green. Thank you so much, green team.、Mwah. For example, Lolly, thank you. Tetsuro, Sleepwalker, yeah.、Um, Tomas, and, and Ava, and Fabricio, and、um, oh, I always forget. It's, yeah, okay, thank you so much. Tetsuro, yeah, thank you, Tetsuro, so much. Okay.、Um, Let's count down to saying goodbye, shall we? And again, Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, Helga, I will be here tomorrow, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Japan time. That's right. In about one hour. We'll be here for one hour then for a worksheet. Okay, so if you're free at 5 p.m. Japan time tomorrow, I will be here with a worksheet. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lolly. Okay, great. Fabricio, have a great 2022. All right, love you. Yeah, Helga, Japan time. Thank you so much. I live in Japan, so when I say 5 p.m., that means 5 p.m. Japan time, my time. Okay, Mary, take it easy. Okay, let's, let's count down to saying goodbye. All right, here we go. Countdown. <laughs> Five, four, three, Two, one. Okay, thanks so much, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow, okay? Bye.